The Sharp ELW516XG calculator can be used to solve systems of equations. It can solve two variable linear equations of the form AX plus BY equals C, where the coefficients for each of the equation are given by the A and the B value, and the constants that the equations are equal to are given by the C value. So note that we have A1 and A2. Those represent the coefficients on the x variable in the first equation and the second equation, b1, b2 are the coefficients on the y, c1 and c2 are the constants that the equations are equal to. It can also be used to solve systems of three variable linear equations of the form ax plus by plus c equals z. So the a and the b continue to be the coefficients on the x and y variable. The c now is the coefficient on the z, the third variable, and the d is now the constant that the equation is equal to. To solve these equations, hit mode on your calculator, then 4 for equations, and then for a two-variable linear equation, hit 0. For a three-variable linear equation, hit 1. Now it's important when we are entering the information for these systems of equations into our calculator that the equations are of the form above, so they have to be ax plus by equals c for a system of two-variable linear equations, and ax plus by plus cz equals d for a system of three linear equations. Let's look at some examples of using the calculators to solve systems of equations. Example one, we want to solve the system of equations using the calculator and round our answers to three significant digits if necessary. So we have the system x minus 2y equals 8, 3x plus y equals negative 4. So the system of equations is two variable linear equations is already in the form ax plus by equals c. So now we just need to determine our coefficients and our constant, our a1, b1, c1, a2, b2, c2. So for our first equation, we have just x, which means the coefficient on the x is 1. So we have a1 is 1. We have negative 2y, so that means coefficient on y is negative 2, so b1 is negative 2, and it equals 8, so c1 is equal to 8. For our second equation, we have 3x, so a2 is 3. We have plus y, so the coefficient on y is 1, and that equals the constant negative 4, so c2 is equal to negative 4. So now on our calculator, we're going to hit mode, then 4 for equation, and then 0 for 2 variable linear equation. And we're going to enter in our a1, b1, c1, a2, b2, c2. So you can see that we have our a1 there first, so we're going to type in 1 for a1, hit equals, then b2 is negative 2, so negative 2, hit equals, c1 is 8, hit equals, a2 is 3, b2 is 1, and c2 is negative 4. So now that we have all six of these values in, when we hit equals, we'll get the result of the system of equations. So we get x equals 0, y equals negative 4. So that's our solution for this system of equations. So therefore, x is equal to 0, and y is equal to negative 4. And if you take a look at the system, if we plug these values in, 0 for x and negative 4 for y, for our first equation, we have 0 minus 2 times negative 4. Negative 2 times negative 4 gives us positive 8, which equals the right side. So it works in equation 1. In equation 2, we have 3x plus y equals negative 4. 3 times 0 is 0. y is negative 4. Negative 4 equals negative 4. So it works in the second equation as well. Now note that on the screen we also get this d value. We can just completely ignore d, do not write it down. It's not something that we're going to worry about. That represents the determinant of the matrix that is used to solve this system of equations, but that method is not something that we're going to be looking at in this course. So just disregard the d altogether. We have our x and our y value, 0 and negative 4. Example two, we want to solve the system of equations 5.2a equals 0 0.3 minus 11.7b, 4.6b plus 8.1 equals 2.2a. So the first thing we need to do is take these equations and rearrange them into the ax plus by 
equals C form. In this case, our variables that are A and B, but we still need to rearrange it so that we have the two variables on the left side and the constant on the right side. So for equation one, rearranging, we would have 5.2A plus 11.7B equals 0 0.3. For equation two, subtracting the 2.2a from both sides, we'd have negative 2.2a plus 4.6b, and then moving the 8.1 over to the other side, we'd have negative 8.1. So now that we have the equations in that consistent form, the form that the calculator is expecting, we can write down our coefficients and constant values, the a1, b1, c1, which come from our first equation. So a1 would be 5.2. And again, don't confuse the a1 here with the a variable and the b1 with the b variable. That's just a1, b1, c1. That's what the calculator uses, independent of what variable is actually in our uh, equations. b1 is 11.7. C1 is 0 0.3, A2 is negative 2.2, B2 is 4.6, C2 is negative 8.1. And now we can enter these into the calculator. So we have our previous values in there still. If we hit equals, we go back and we'll see that we have A1, B1 from the previous example. So if you want to, you can hit second function mode to clear out those previous values, or you can just type over top of them. So A1 now is 5.2, B1 is 11.7, C1 is 0 0.3, A1 is negative 2.2, B2 is 4.6, and C2 is negative 8.1. So now when we hit equals, we'll get the solution to the system of equations. So we get x is equal to 1.9361659288, y is equal to negative 0.348777, etc. So the x, well, obviously in our system of equations, we don't have an x and y, we have an a and b. The x represents the first variable, which is the a. The y is the second variable, the b. So we can say, therefore, for our system of equations, A is equal to approximately 1.94, and B is equal to approximately negative 0.835. And again, the D value, we just disregard that completely. Example three, we wanna solve the system of equations 3X plus 8Y minus 2Z equals negative 10, Z minus 4Y equals two, x plus 5z plus 1 equals 0. So we have a system of three variable linear equations, equation 1, equation 2, and equation 3, in terms of variables x, y, and z. First thing we need to do is rearrange them into the correct form. Equation 1 is already in the correct form. It's the first variable plus second variable plus third variable equals our constant. But equation 2, well, we should really rearrange that to negative 4y plus z equals 2, just so it has that consistent form of the y variable before the z variable. And equation 3, we have x plus 5z, but then we want to move that 1 over to the left, sorry, to the right side, so we'd have negative 1. Now that we have our three equations in the correct format, we need to identify the a, b, c, and d values. Now notice that there are some variables missing from equations two and equation three. That's okay. That's something that we'll take account of when we are writing down the coefficients. So looking at the first equation, uh, the coefficient on the x is three, coefficient on the y is eight, coefficient on the z is negative two, and it's equal to the constant negative 10. So we have a1 is 3, b1 is 8, c1 is negative 2, and d1 is equal to negative 10. For our second equation, we do not have an x term. So that means there are zero x's, so the coefficient on the x is zero, so a2 would be zero because we don't have any x's. 
we have a negative 4y, so b2 would be negative 4. We have 1z, so c2 is 1, and that's equal to 2, so d2 is 2. Equation 3, we have 1x, so a3 is equal to 1. There are no y's, so b3 would be 0 because there are 0 y's. c3 is 5 because we have 5z, and d3 is going to equal negative 1. So now that we have these values, we need to enter them into the calculator to solve the system. So to do that, we start out by hitting mode, and then 4 for equation, and then 1 for 3 variable linear equation. Now it's looking for us to enter the information. So A1 is 3, B1 is 8, C2 is negative 2, D1 is negative 10. So that's the information from the first equation. Now for our second equation, a2 is 0, so 0, b2 is negative 4, c2 is 1, d2 is 2, hit equals, and information from our third equation, a3 is 1, b3 is 0, c3 is 5, d3 is negative 1. Hitting equals will get the solution to our system of equations, so we get that x is equal to approximately, oh sorry, x is equal to exactly negative 2, y is equal to negative 0 0.45, and z is equal to 0 0.2, and again, the d value, we just disregard that completely, we don't need to worry about it. So again, we started out by making sure that the equations were in the correct form, then we identified all of the coefficient and constant values, enter those into the calculator, and it gives us our three solutions, x equals negative 2, y equals negative 0 0.45, and z equals 0 0.2. And again, if we took those three values and plug them into equation 1, equation 2, and equation 3, we would find that the left side and right side are equal to each other.